Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video, and today, yeah, you you saw the title, I hope. It's kind of a spider infestation, it's kind of not. I mean, we're gonna walk that way to the house, in the hallway. Okay, so I'm gonna be sticking quieter now. But, Brynn, over there, hi Brynn. And uh, there are spiders, like the orange kind, right up there. It's hard to see with my crappy phone, but that little dot up there is the spider. Crap. Okay, so we also have that one up there. Oh, that one, I would assume, that big one up there, would be a male, and the one we're going to be focusing on today, that one is a female. Also, there's a fly there. It's not in her web, it's actually behind it. But you can't see her web, but it's actually, maybe, if I can get the right note, my phone doesn't want to pick it up. And there's a family thing. Yay, family. But that fly up there doesn't seem like it can fly, but if it flies backwards into her web, it's dead. So, yeah. And then we got that little spider right up there, just chilling with him with daddy spider, and then there's one up there. So that's five spiders. There's a fridge. That one's from Halloween. But that means that that's... Oh yeah, also, we had some gross bits of tomato, and I put that underneath. Oh wow, look at that. I don't think you'd be able to see it. The fly is like... If you guys were ever like able to see this, it'd be so cool. Because from certain angles, you can actually see her web thing coming out of her spinnerets. But on here is just a couple of fruit flies, because we have those. And it's nice to have spiders in the house, because you can just pick that up, and a few of them kind of just fly off. Yesterday, she caught three fr flies. One that was eh, maybe a baby, one of, one of those big ones. She caught another big, she got a big one like that, that one. Then she caught a really small fruit fly. Also, whoa, whoa, look at that. I saw a squirrel in that tree. Also, I see a fly and a spider. But she, I've never seen this spider this lively before, like, at all. Usually she's just in the middle of her web, sitting there. Occasionally she'll go off, because there's some webbing on the lights. There's some webbing on those flowers. I think, yeah, the wilted flowers and some in the curtains over there. Anyway, we're going to see how Bubbles doing. Oh, I forgot to put on the top. So, yeah, you get an overhead view of Bubbles' entire cage. So, the bubble wall is working. That one less so, that one more so. So, there's Bubbles. He's being all cute. Like in the first video. My fish being cute. Link not in the description. Well, yeah, also, I just found out that I can just cut videos occasionally. Like, I can just snip if they're too long. I can cut them if they're too lengthy. And I like that. So, yeah, this is Bubbles' cage. But only for some reason two of them. It also keeps on hitting into stuff. I found a smaller fruit fly, so I kind of just dropped it in and fed it to him. I really hope that works if you think that it might not hurt him or that it might hurt him not that it might um but what i'm doing is i might leave it open for a small bit just so that like because what's happening is all the green on the uh spun um, spongebob's house keeps from uh whatever it's called um i don't know what it's called if you know what it's called even in in the comment section. But yeah, I'm gonna be focusing. Hello, Daddy Spider on um, Mama Spider over there, over behind me. And Bubbles, I just fed because he had a um, baby fruit fly, which is about the same size as the pellets I give him. I've told you before. See other and older videos for that. But, yeah, that's Bubbles. Hi, Bubbles, say hi. You can't say hi because you're a fish. I don't know if he's a koi or if he's just a really freaking cool-colored goldfish, but 
he looks really cool, and I like him. I think at one point he had a little bit of black on him, and that was kind of cool. But before we got, like, the bubble wall was, um, plugged somehow, I don't know why. We actually had to poke holes in it so it could blow bubbles. And what it was is he actually tipped sideways. I might have talked to this about this in a different video, but I'm talking about it now because that was a while ago, like a few months. Sorry, I always drift off. It's a mess. But yeah, there's bubbles, and now you get an overhead view of bubbles. Looking cool. He just bumps into the wall sometimes. Maybe it's because the bubble wall was blocked. But he actually used to kind of go sideways until he pulled out the bubble wall. Put him in a little container. Hold on. Look at the cake. It was a little jar. Uh, it's at the back of the cupboard, if you can see it slightly. Good for you. But, um, it was at the back of the cupboard and I put my name on it. I'm thinking, oh, this fish is named Alice. And no, it's Bubbles. And now let's go back to Mama Spider and the fly. Le fly. So, yeah, Mama Spider is really cool. It, it's technically. A spider infestation. I might not even call it that because I make up the names before anything else. Actually, I don't. Usually, I just create a video. But yeah, focusing on Mama Spider and the fly. I really hope that the fly like flies backwards into the web. I want to get a closer view of Mama, but without having to enhance it. So. Great, but yeah, there she is. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I also have this for cutting apples. Yeah, there we go. And focus, and there we go. So basically, the core is right in that hole. And the reason that is, is because, I don't know. And it cuts it into apple slices. It's like the easy apple slicer. If you don't want to do it yourself, so I like that. But yeah, there's Mama Spider. It's already been seven minutes. I gotta hit the ten minute mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that was someone outside. Cool. Well, okay. The fly keeps on doing a thing with its wings, almost like its wings are hurt. Sorry. Shaky camera. Because if that was on a web, because it looks like, oh my god, it's gonna get it. But the web that she's on is forward and he's backward on the window here I don't know why because for me it's very close and I even have the phone a little so I don't want to get too close to mama because last night I think it was she um did a defensive stance in which they actually flick their legs upward at you because they think oh my gosh threat so they flick their legs up because she had food. She wanted her food. But yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Look it up. Um, I don't know. Spider or tarantula. Whichever one is easier. Defensive stance. I could do that. I might even edit it in the video. This part of the video. I might like pause it. I don't know. I might be able to edit soon. I could probably look up a few tutorials. Alright, my phone fell out of my hands because I am dumb. But yeah. It's just the um, way, because really, in reality, it's more like that's how far apart they are. But from this angle, it still looks like I. If I had to, I'd, if I could, I would have put, like, if I had tweezers, I would have put that fly on the web. Might have scared Mama, but uh, it would have been cool, and I would have been get able to get it on film. So I thought that's cool, and we're just gonna whiskey over to Bubs. Hey Bubbles, how you doing, bud? You want that? I just fed him. He just does that probably because he sees. I don't know whatever. Those are, I don't know what that is. I'm holding on to my phone very tight because I don't want to fall in the water. 
or else I will lose my phone, and I don't want that. <laughs> Boop. But, um, yeah. I just don't want it to uh, do that. But on the, um, cutter, the, um, video cutter editor or whatever it's called, it actually automatically turns it to the side that it is on. So maybe that's how I'll do it. Like, I'll occasionally, like, cut out certain things. I don't need to see, like, my shirt at the end of videos. Anyway, guys, we're going to end on bubbles because it's at the 10 minute mark. Say goodbye, bubbles. Hey, bye, bubbles. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.